What's up everyone, before we get into the draft, just wanted to say thanks for all the support and love, been getting a lot of great feedback and comments and, you know, conversation going in the channel, so love to see it happen. I am going to start streaming a bit more on Twitch, so I'll include the Twitch name and what should we call it, where you can find me over there in the comments or in the description. So be sure to check that out. If you haven't done so already, hit that sub button. Stay up to date with us and continue growing and learning through these formats as we progress, as we go deeper and deeper, and eventually hit that mythic rank. Without further ado, let's get into some drafting. Okay, pack one, pick one. We have Aspirin, probably the best one. A solid two drop, got to be killed early or you pump your whole team. Golem, solid in black, uh, blue, black, rogue, space camps, probably unplayable, stampede to find, double face card, feed swarms, and heroes stick out as the best commons in the pack. Let's pick up the aspirant. Pathway land on color could be good. Uh, nothing else really in white sticking out, nothing else really in black. Wizards, fine in any blue deck, really. Three dropper, two, two, isn't bad. Probably should pick that up here. Stalker's also fine. Goes good with the Aspirant, getting some counters. Do need the Pathway Land for standard, but that is kind of being greedy. Let's take the Stalker here. Hmm. That's tough one. The Flyer, unblockable. Then we'll go with the Wizard here. Flying's crazy in this set, and I have seen those go kind of late, so maybe we'll get that on the wheel around. Alright, so continuing on with nothing in our colors, we get Feed the Swarm, Sticking Out, and Subtle Stripe as the best commons in the pack. Spike Field Hazard has been good. Picking little creatures off is always good before they can get out of hand. I think I like the first Feed the Swarm over first Subtle Strike, and... Black-white is a very strong color combo. Red-white in the aggro deck is also very strong, but I personally like the black-white decks better. Okay, got an equipment payoff. Cleric payoff in the swarm. Tools for a rogue deck. Don't know where you'd want to be if we end up in a blue-white. I think the card most likely to be played would be Scion of the Swarm, based on what we have going on right now. Scoop up. If we don't have one, too much speed, much, much better. We also have the core celebrant. Uh, I think we take the life gain payoff here and keep the fingers crossed that we see more of the common life gain cards like the cleric to drop. Well, I mean, there must be a sale on these guys giving them away. Sign is one number three, and I think they could cap us with our big late game finishers. Um, Protector would be nice to see come back around, but let's take it. The guy passing to me must know I'm going to be in black, so hopefully we get paid off there. Salt, nothing in white, really, nothing in black. Colossal's fine as a finisher if you don't have anything else with three scions. I think we're good on that end. Uh, Mind Dream probably doesn't make the final cut, but shows that we are not passing black, so let's take it. Right, Priest is an awesome pickup here, uh, flying us to ping the opponent. Gain sending all those blue cards back over, so let's go with that. Pitch the wizard. Take a blood back in here. The tactics has been very good. The only downside about it is that if the thing you want to kill isn't attacking or blocking, it's just kind of static sitting there, it doesn't hit. Blood beckoning, late game, pick up the best two cards in your graveyard. I like it. Don't think at a point where we're main decking disenchant. Lynx doesn't have any synergy, the month isn't either. But I think we take this out again, cutting off black to our neighbor. Yeah, look later. Again, if we quite don't get there, get that on the board. Combat trick and subtle strike. Not bad. Hopefully, we're not playing it. Oh, Omnath, look at that. Coming back for some fun. Unfortunately, today, buddy, I don't think we can make you work. We're base black. Sucks, but we are going to have to pass you. Good seeing you, though, man. Definitely good seeing you. Uh, I like the Mara Captain. We are going to be base clerics, so anything else we pick up will add to this in terms of the party. And the Hearing's Binding is good. Actually, it might be the pickup here over the Captain. 
Mind Garber, not the deck core. <clears throat> Predation, good for Ren, not nah, the most exciting thing. They might be the first binding here. Um, let's scoop it up. Rune Crab, this is the kicker payoff. Second Blood Beckoning. It's a very weak pack for us. Could take the one drop in the Warrior. As ability to pump the team later. Second Blood Beckoning is not that important to me. Am I playing this one drop? <laughs> yeah. I think it'll make a decent include, especially if we get some more of those uh, party payoffs. Nothing in black. Nothing really in white. Seagate Restoration. Decent card. Don't listen to think it makes the cut. I mean, I don't think we're playing any of these things, so let's take out the Seagate. Weird case where we do end up with some more blue modal double phase. Don't mind splashing. This is the Street Library with the cards in your hand. The full parties. I don't think we're going to the full party thing here. We got Tactics. Hunger and the worm. It's been pretty uneventful. Yes, us. So we tutor up for three. Maybe. I just don't think we're playing anything else. Guess a tactics here. Let's go with it. Blood back in number two. Literally nothing else in the pack. Ox is not the deck we want to be, so let's take the beckoning. Okay, mm, very weak pack again, and then we take pressure point here. Shepherd Hero is great to see. This is where all that gas has been hidden, I guess. So we'll scoop that up. Take the two drop in the healer. Nice little warrior payoff here. Not where we are. And again, probably nothing that is playable. So to fill out the collection, we'll take the mine carver. Rune Crab made it all the way around the table. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Then you take the Felidar. If it goes unanswered, I guess it does uh, demand something. Vigilance is also very nice. Second pair of attacks, I think we take over the 3 1. Thanks for the board. Sure. And round up the pack with something unplayable, I'm sure. Yep. Alright, big payoff. Let's see it. What is this nonsense? Goblin Rogue. Rogue Artist is combat. I play with the Zero and Goblin Artifact with this creature can't block at the beginning of your cup. Keep the deals. <laughs> that's a funny card. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Uh, Clerics is definitely getting scooped up here. Celebrant will be very good to wheel. Binding will be good to wheel. Birth will be good to wheel. So, even Vanquish will be good to wheel. So, it looks like we have substantially something should be coming back to us from this first pack. Very good start for pack three. Keep it going. I think we're scooping up Blood Chief's Thirst here. Mm, don't think we're gonna have. Don't think it's gonna be worth splashing for this. We're not gonna be able to make that party mechanic go off. Hopefully, we get one of the clerics on the rebound. I'll even take a feed the swarm, but let's go with a thirst. We have Core Celebrant here, helping us guarantee those life gain triggers. Like I said, if this comes around, we'll be happy. Scoop her up. Feed the Swarm, second copy. Or Acquisitions Expert. I'm down for Feed the Swarm. I think we should be getting enough life gain triggers that this shouldn't be affecting us. Control the board, win the game. Let's do it. Captain looks like the pick here. Blood Beckoning, we have two of Feed the Swarm, we have two of, so let's go with the four drop flyer. Okay, don't think we're in the market for any of these, so take the white uncommon felt the collection. What amazing pack. Look at this. All the colors, everything we wanted and more. Absolutely nothing. Sure, let's take Barrage, fill out the collection. I'm liking the curve. Creature count looks as low as it is. So back eight, we'll take 
the protector. Vanquish, I'm cool with. So all those cards, that's the one that came around. Interesting. Celebrant. Or Expedition Healer. Take it. Sure, I'll take the Rogue. Another one drops fine. Goes on the board and pressure point to round it out. All right, one cut probably. This is kicker. So four drop removal. We have a lot of removal. Uh, maybe go down a practice tacticians. Let's leave this bad boy up. See how she runs. So nothing to turn three. Seems legit. Means if anything dies, we just have it always brought back to our hand. Last thing I want to see, I think we just kill it before it gets out of hand. What do you got, point? So if we see this countered. for one doesn't mean much to me yep okay so we can't double spell this turn because we don't have our swamp seems fitting let's let's just see what we have yeah, let's kick this and then see if we can uh, draw that swamp next turn Oh my goodness, there it is, the main board negate. TVT, you dirty dog, you. Main boarding the gate. Alright. Good for you. Good for you. Hello. Your thing is dying now. That's fine. Take the priests, buy it right back. That's fine. Converting mana cost two or less. Yeah. Yep, drop this. Buy these both back. Uh, This guarantees sign to have a counter next turn. So let's play it. Knows my entire hand, so let's go like that. Let's see blood beckoning of his own. Let's see. Let's 
So if he has this essence scatter type card, it's a hard counter at this point because we have nothing in the or we have more than eight in the graveyard. <sighs> so if he has that, it doesn't make sense to try to play around. He's gonna have it for the rest of the game. Unless he has Into the World, so he just has nothing, okay. What do you not have? Four mana, can't play anything. Interesting. I don't want to know, not questioning it. So, why not kill the other one? Do you have, like I said, answer for it, something bigger? We're gonna find out, but uh, it's weird. Very, very weird on his end. Flashing a uh, three-three. Let's see. Yep. Sure. Very curious as to why he's keeping this guy alive. Is he gonna steal it? No, you need a lot. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't need that much actually. You need another blue, then he can steal it. But even at that point, you chunk the five five. I don't know. Guess not. Let's see. So I think he's planning to steal it. Which, if we get the blue mana, that's going to be unfortunate for us, but... Hmm. You just lose. Okay. It's weird. What a weirdo. Very weird guy. But we'll take it. We don't complain here. Take our W's with a smile. Already on the play, two removal, two five drops. Could be worse. We have some land. Let's make this happen. Get on the swamp. They say what's good. Hello, Rodion. Uh, double white in the here and finding. I don't think I'm gonna need it soon, but let's gonna go. What are they doing? Not ideal. Interesting. So, about three colors out. Curious to see what they're going to do. Assume they have removal. Usually creatures out. As it's a problem some life gain. Count, okay. Go with this. Cool. Okay with that. Let's go with Swarm. <clears throat> if it lives, we clap and rejoice. Highly doubt it. Well perhaps. Bad. 
Does he have land? Yeah, so he's holding land. I think he wants to play that. So that's number two. I think we hold on to this. I don't need to run it out now. He's probably going to pump that with what? Give it counters, give it something. Hmm. Six stops, so he probably has a stomper in hand. No. Cool. So that's super double strike now. It's no fun. No blocks. <clears throat> this is equip of two white white. Okay, so you can equip it next turn. I think we feed the swarm this hold of blood chiefs for <clears throat> this guy and stay back. Getting punished for a slow start, and our opponent is slow rolling us. Uh, he equips it to 3 3. Can't double block, so I think we just. <clears throat> yep. Got a jump here. No trample or anything, that's fine. Not ideal situation, opponent's five cards in hand. Swings in with that. <sighs> very interesting. Very, very interesting. So we got a chump. Essentially just losing the game. It's plus two, plus two. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, very, very, very slow start, and Maul is a bomb. <clears throat> Much better. You set up aspirant. Uh, yep. Cool, 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 cool. I'm okay taking. Some damage here. <clears throat> wow, this is uh, definitely different. Seeing this twice in a row, man, good for you. Yeah, 
not that that one mana guy is a threat, it's just that any creature becomes a threat with the Mauler out. So, let's do that. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Let's see what you got, buddy. We are a mono white deck, double black in hand. We do have one drop into two drop. Mm. I said I'd be more aggressive with the mulligans, but we have playables, early playables. I'm okay with it. <clears throat> So, I think I go on <clears throat> healer here. So that if he untaps, it kills life bond. That's no fun. Either way, we get it. We can get a trigger off this um, with expedition healer swinging in. And black's removal kills this regardless. There's no threshold I need to get over, so I think it's fine. Yep. Goodbye. It was too soon. Too soon. Oh man, got me for his time. Um, can't play anything else anyway, so let's. I want to feed. Force that out the way. Hopefully, we can get a clear swinging with the healer now, pumping our scion. <clears throat> Very good. Sorcery speed. <clears throat> Vanquish is three mana. The other ones are sorcery as well. Can have self strike. Doesn't really do much. Still get a left hand trigger. He does pop it, but I don't like where his head's at. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. No. That's okay. Land we can well let's just do that then. That's fine. Not again. Ah uh, what did we do? Okay. Thank you, opponent. Thank you, opponent. No. So I said three turn clock, or I can kick blood beckoning, drop 
getting the back Sion and Claire. That makes sense to do that. Seeking for. This is why we play Blood Beckoning, children. Kill all the creatures you want. It's okay. Let's go with that. So you can grab a Hellion, nothing flying is fine. Cool, pay me for two. Doesn't do too much. Okay. Really, deck is good. So we just gotta get the right draws and mulligan all five land hands. Five drop hands. Nine. Sure. GG opponent. Moving and grooving here, moving and grooving. Alright, two drop healer. We got a four drop and a five drop. Three mana. Why not? Hello, Mr. Opponent or Mrs. Very nice to make your acquaintance. We love curving out. We thoroughly enjoy curving out. Ooh, a mirror? No, no, not quite. So he just drew that. Sure. Happy to race you, buddy. Swarm. Get this out of the way. Drop that land pass. I don't think we need to do anything. Clerics yet. Tazim. That's the. Doesn't need to go to your control. Hmm. Cool with this. Love when opponents want to race. And I'm playing a life gain deck. No need. Yep. One, two, three. Double blocks. Yep. 
happy to trade that off. Turn. One one double strike. This doesn't give any bonus there. Happy for it. Okay, moving and grooving indeed. So on the draw, I have a three drop, two five drops in hand. I am running three five drops, four five drops. So shipping it back, redrawing. And with two healers, blood bond in the deck. Not even more. This is why we don't mull in the mid. Ah, keep up. Damn. Well. Uh, go against my own rule. Hate to see it. Hmm. I think a long term aspirin wins the game. Over the bond. Let's find out. Yep. Yeah, it's dying. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, here I think we get it out of Royal Eruption range. Let's see if we can, uh... Uh, no attacks. Yeah, I don't know what he's showing here. Doesn't have... This game should oh, be in a combat, yep. Oh, yeah, we messed that one up. We should have killed, swung in. Because at this point, we can drop this guy, see what one wants to do. I'm assuming something's getting kicked eventually. Yep. Synchronize on that. Okay. I'm gonna feed the swarms this guy right now. I do have two turns I can get in with the expedition. Right, let's drop this. Oh, let's play. Yep. Kick your bounces, my bonds. Okay. Oh, well, this case is out of range now. That's good. It's for him, too. Yeah, so I guess we just go healer swinging for six. Um, hands completely empty. Is 
instant up. Just for. What you got opponent? No. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Yep. Got it. Uh, you got it. One thing that sucks about being stuck on mana. Draw or disruption. Yep. Sure. Yeah. So, he has the double blocks there. Double blocks here, mate. No, double blocks there, probably. Could even potentially triple block. I can buy back you and you, probably. Or even find, I think, I think that's good, because otherwise he can bane down next turn and I can't really attack in. So let's get the two for one, knowing that we buy back next turn. Crack back, we hit four, three. He does have that in hand. Substantially killing all attacks. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So yeah, at this point now we attack and this becomes eight. Yeah. Yeah, another counter. Oof. Has Bane Veil, it's minus two, but still, so we can't still kill it quite yet. We take out the Hellion and a Squid. No, so we can take out, we take out a Squid and a Legac. Um, this is two. I hate waiting, I hate doing this because they got kicker, they got all that stuff they can bounce with, but I think it's correct not to attack in. Not lethal. Three. That's different. Seven. Ten. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Disney. Wow. All right, man. GG. Well played. Well played. Yeah. Wow. Hey, if you're going out, you're going out like that. GG. GG, buddy. Well, folks, there's the deck. Um, yeah, so 
takeaways from this draft. It's a double-edged sword. So we saw the last game we had a multi five. And the second game, arguably lost. Or, yeah, second game, we arguably lost because we didn't mulligan that hand. I don't know. I like being a little more gung-ho with not mulliganing, um, especially if you have lands and eventually you're going to play. Like like I said, I don't think the format's at a place where you are going to get ran over or punished too hard. That being said, if you're not playing until turn five in any format, you are probably going to lose. Last game, probably should have got aggressive, especially knowing that I had the buyback spell hand. Taking Even taking two for one there um, would have saved me the game, essentially. Those are the takeaways. Hope you enjoyed the deck. Like I said, um, moving and grooving here through this Zendikar draft. Let me know what you think of the deck down below. And until next time, stay safe. Take care.